staring at you. Samuel and Henry Bowen were born at 23 weeks and weighed less than two pounds each. Their parents had never heard of ROP before the twins were diagnosed with it. There are so many things that, you know, that could potentially happen in the beginning, especially for babies that early, that, um, you know, eyesight and blindness wasn't even something that we'd thought about yet. The blood vessels have, number one, gotten thicker, and they've gotten really tortuous, meaning wiggly. This image shows aggressive ROP in Henry's eyes at 34 weeks. Untreated, it could detach the retina and blind him. <laughs> OHSU's Dr. Michael Chang is leading the charge for early screening and treatment for ROP. Instead of using traditional laser or cryotherapy, he injected Henry's eyes with a Vastin. In the course of a week, it basically reversed itself. If you diagnose it early enough that you can treat it, prevent a baby from going blind for their entire lifetime, we've got to make that diagnosis correct. We've got to make it on time. Dr. Cheng is trying to eliminate two obstacles to early diagnosis, accessibility to experts and lack of standardized tests. He's creating a telemedicine solution. They would take a picture, send it to us, and we could look at it and we could have our computer systems that we're developing analyze those images and try to make a better diagnosis. The Bowens are grateful for their boy's early diagnosis. Samuel's eyes have improved on their own and Henry's checkups have been good. He's still not out of the woods yet, but from where it was before to where it is now is a big difference. Henry might still need laser therapy when he's older, and both boys may still be severely nearsighted. Until the late 80s, there were no successful treatments for ROP. Dr. Chang gives a lot of credit for his work to the Oregon State Elks, which helped fund his research. For HealthLink, I'm Amity Adrisi.